All right, and we are back. My guess is that's going to start every video with that because um, that's my hotkey to start a video. Uh, all right, let's see what everyone has here. Pots for sale, earthenware pots in brightly colored blazes. I have a pot you have long sought. Again, not really something that we're interested in. We have delicious things for you to eat, scory and slurry. Mouth-tempting falafels, a fresh roasted lamb, dates stuffed with honey and almonds to tease your tongue. Uh, it is clear, certain, it is a certainty that you'll enjoy what we sell. Wonderful. Let's, uh, get some food. Haggle for rations. Maybe they will cost you a cent time less. No, it is. Uh, Twenty cent times less. Five. Ten. Actually, ten cent times less. Awesome. Put the rations away. Let's look at our inventory. I don't know how many rations I have. Ten. It's probably five. And I have this magic rope that was very expensive. Let's go in here. There's the mortar and pestle that we talked, we saw in the uh, <coughs> guild hall notice board. Say hello. The problem is that he hasn't noticed we exist yet. Ah, I did not notice you come in. It's the apothecary, where um, where one can buy many wondrous pills and oils. I am Harik. If you need something, just let me know. I have the following pills for sale. Vigor for 5, healing for 10, poison cure for 12, mana for 15. Take one pill of water and get plenty of rest. So we always want to make sure that we have water when we get our pills. Uh, let's ask about poison cure. Venom of the Desert Scorpion is deadly unless you take these pills before you are struck by its tail. And let's ask about Vigor. Vigor pills aid iron poor blood, restore vital minerals used up in strength exercise, and act as quick picker-uppers in times of stress. And I think he does not sell health potions in this game. Not my power to give you that. Okay, fair enough. If I say help, potion. Do not usually make potions unless they are sp special orders. I make pills that do wonderful things. However, I do have a recipe for a dispel potion. Hmm. Well, we need one in the last game. Dispel potion. Potion of break enchantments. I know of one spell in which the victim drinks the potion and the spell ends. It's a pity I do not have uh, any of the potion made up. I have most of the ingredients, though. If you could find the ingredients I am missing, then I could make some dispel potions for you. I get a spell potion. I will need the feather of a griffin, and let me think. Ah, that may be a problem. I need the fruit of compassion. Let's ask about... Griffin... Griffin does have it. Griffin is half bird, half beast. It has the head and wings of an eagle and the body of a lion. Since it is neither wholly one nor the other, it can be used as a catalyst for change. And the fruit of compassion. Fruit of compassion is extremely rare. It can only be given, never taken, or bought. I have heard rumors of but one plant in the entire land where you might find this. And what if we ask about plant? There are tales told to me of a woman transformed into a plant through a jinn's spell. Uh, she stands like a tree somewhere out in the desert, but it is said she bears no fruit. You should talk to the entrangist Aziza, for she would know more than uh, about this than I. Okay. Um, I don't know if this will work. I am always in need of certain components for my work. If you are brave enough to bring some of these components to me, I am more than willing to pay you for them. So, tell me about the components. Um, I always have scorpion venom to make poison cure pills and ghoul claws for my experience. I will pay 20 dinars for the tail of a scorpion and 15 for the claws of the ghoul. So you can make a lot of cash. And again, what do we have for money? We have six golden dinars. Okay. Could buy one bigger potion, but it's fine for right now. Um, and I have no interest in your pots. So thanks, but no thanks. Let's read our map and head over to the final plaza. So, finest carpets. Not land, I have the Hero of the North, but we don't need any. 
jewelry of the finest gems inlaid in rings of gold and silver, necklaces of beautiful stones, things of beauty which will last forever, all of which I sell. Wonderful. Uh, but we don't actually need any of those either. And the palace. Uh, so let's head down this way first. To visit our new friend. Come in, come in, Hassan, come in. Oh, is that not you? It's hard for me to tell at such a distance. Come in anyway, and welcome. I am Abu al-Jin, and I am the astrologer of the stars and omens. Who are you that I might know you? Shadow. We can really give him any name we want. Ah, Shadow is indeed a name for heroes. Um, it is well that you have come, then. The signs show me that we will soon need one here. Let's see. I'm always curious who this Hassan is. Hassan is my lens washer. Wonderful boy, but a bit convexing at times. Um, let's ask about the signs. Planet Salim has been missing from the sky for several days now. Last night, the planet Amal was gone. Instead, a large, fiery star blazed from the eye of the dragon. Even now, the dragon and scorpion are rising. The dragon and scorpion. Tell us about those. Dragon is a sign of vast magical power. And the scorpion. Scorpion pretends poison and deceit. So that doesn't sound great. Ask about hero. Stars predict that only a great hero may aid us through the upcoming darkness. Let's ask about astrology. Astrology is based on the principle of as above, so below. The heavens reflect the earth and vice versa. Let's ask about prediction. You know, I have no... Uh, okay. Let's ask about our future. If you wish to know your fortune, I will need to know your guiding signs. Tell me about your past and the things you have done. Okay, let's tell about past. You have lived a most interesting life. I will look into what signs have guided your life thus far and see how they will affect you in the future. This will take many hours, so I'll need you to come back some other day. Okay. Let's go about matter. Alright, never mind. Um, and I think that's pretty much all we can talk to this guy about until we come back and get our fortune told. If you need to know more about the future, visit me again when it arrives. Alright, let's pop out our map and go to pretty much the last place we need to find, which is Aziza. Oh, it's nighttime already. Never mind. Let's go back to the inn. Let's hope you enjoyed your first sights of our beautiful city of Shapir. Let's sit. And we have our food delivered to us. Tonight's meal is honeyed lamb with almonds and curry chicken. Let's hope you enjoy yourself. Eat. Wonderful meal. And if we weren't exercising, we would be just as big as Abdullah. We'll stand, and we will go to bed for the day. So I will sleep until dawn. We get much refreshed. Welcome, hero. Let's sit and eat our meal. Uh, uh, she's going to dance tonight, so we should try to watch that. Because that is the polite thing to do, apparently. Uh, I did not want to sit. I want to stand. Shima dances this night. Excellent. Thank you very much for the update. Guide to sightseeing and beautiful Razier. Only cost you one dinar since you only got a one page. Um, oh, let's actually do this. Iarsaurus. Ah, there you are. I've been looking for you. Although, for life me, I can't imagine why. Ali Fakir. Of course, oh, even if you don't want one, I'll be happy to sell you one. So, ask about Saurus. It's an awful lot of Sauruses, and I've seen a lot of awful Sauruses. The Saurus is a ship in the desert, and you can't ship it far uh, enough to suit me. All a Saurus takes is a little grass, say a bale, some water, around 20 gallons, and a little love, and it will follow you anywhere, which can get mighty embarrassing at times, believe me. Oops. Picture yourself mounting your very own Saurus for the first time. You get up, you fall off, you mount it again, and sit proud in the saddle, knowing you can ride with the best of them. You look like a man looking for a Saurus. I have the finest saddle Saurus you can find. A magnificent saddle Saurus. You ride one, that's exactly what you get. Get it? 
Uh, so it is absolutely vital that you buy a Saurus. Um, you are not allowed to continue the game if you do not buy the Saurus. You will get a game over immediately. Uh, I don't need to get this part. It's fine. He's just trying to sell us more. Still. Okay, so let's go for the Saurus. Price was 50, your calling price is 10. I raised you two clubs, you doubled, I redoubled, the stock market crashed, I doubted your double, you called me, just what, I'll never repeat. I came to general agreement with 20 dinars. Hmm. So, we need money. So, probably the best way to do that is just to go out and kill some stuff. Let's, you know what, that's what I'm going to do. Let's go to the guard. Yes, I see you. Thank you. Shut up. Stop talking. Ask about Oasis. Oasis is a place in, oh. place in the desert where life-giving water is five screen lengths to the south and three screen lengths to the east from the town overlook. So, if we go south 5, and east 3, and if we hit backspace, we'll see compass, so south 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, and the source head rock is always a good indicator. Again, we're going east, we're going to go a total of 3, and we get to the races. He who turns to run away sometimes finds a knife in back. You're a business like eating peanuts. Ask about peanuts. Once you start, it's very hard to stop. Fair enough. Drink. Deep drink of the warm but refreshing water. Then check and refill all your water skins. Ask about the oasis. Oasis likewise, saying, but it's both seem shallow but are very deep. Ask about beard. The difference between beard and the world is one whirls around tree and the other twirls around me. Take beard. A small piece of the dwarvish's beard and put it carefully away. Thanks, bud. Um, so we can come back and talk to him later, but for now, let's take this and head home. Kind of wanted to find an enemy to fight. Apparently, no one's biting. Oh well. Let's go back to keep on. Shut up. Map. Keep on. Wait, yeah. So, beard. Uncurled some whirl from the dervish. Oh, fat. Frab Joyce staying, whatever. Hoorah, hurrah. Here's the dinars that I must pay. Wonderful. Au revoir. Way to go, Pinocchio. Let's go get our Saurus now. Okay. Haggle, Saurus. And we again settle on uh, 20 dinars. Pay the man his money. Just a minute, I'll introduce your Saurus to you. Ah, true love at first sight, and what a sight for Saurus eyes. Seeing that you two kids are hitting it off from the start, it sounds like a good time to start heading off. Hello, I must be going. An exit line if I ever heard one. And he's gone. I'll be honored to put your Saurus back in the stable for you, Effendi. Excellent. And I still don't want to talk to you, Dalicha. Alright, let's head up this way. Let's see if we can't find Aziza. Pretty sure it is the far one, but on the way, I'm going to check this spot just to make sure I did not miss her. This is what I was looking for. Yeah, okay. And here, and here. Let's look at door. Door seems to be watching you. Knock. 
Who is it that seeks to enter? Shadow. Who is it that sent you here? Keepon. What is the element most appropriate to the owner of the magic shop? So, uh, this can be tough, I suppose. Um, but if you think about the elements that normally people talk about, we have fire, water, earth, and air. And it's literally a guy who sits on a cloud. My first is the first, my second the last, next comes myself, then back to the end, and beginning again. Who am I? So, it's an interesting riddle, I suppose. Um, but we don't really need to solve it if we've already been told her name by Keepon. Um, my first is the first, would be the first letter of the alphabet. Second is the last, would be Z. Next comes myself, meaning I, what you call yourself. Back to the end, Z, and beginning again, Aziza, which is a common name, I think, in Egyptian. And Aziz would be a uh, male Egyptian name. Oh, I could have the areas wrong. You may enter freely into my home, Shadow. Wonderful. Hello. Come in, sit down, and be welcome. So we should always be polite to her. Greet. Welcome. It is good to have a visitor who understands the proper way to enter a conversation. Sit. Yes, come sit at my table. Missed the step. Shall we share tea? Yes. Tea is cool and refreshing. You find yourself relaxing as you drink and listen to the sound of flowing water. Hmm. Now that we have shared tea, what is it uh, for which you have come? So, keep on told us to talk to her just anyway, but uh, we were told to ask her about the fruit of compassion. Indeed, a sad tale. Let me show you of that which we speak. I tell you of a time long ago when women wore veils and were but wives and chattel to men. There was a woman, a beautiful woman, a loving woman, who wished with all her very soul to become a healer and thus aid others. Her father tried to dissuade her, saying that this was no past woman of her gentleness and sensitivity. She would go about her duties quietly, but each evening she would tell him again that she wished to become a healer. Last, her father gave in, and she was trained in the art of healing, despite the jeers and condescension of the male students and teachers. She became a healer and removed her veil forever. She soon discovered that life was not easy for a woman healer. Many men distrusted her skills and refused to call upon her. Some men called upon her only to try to take advantage of her beauty. One day, a man came to her and told the tale of his brother dying in the desert. She did not quite trust his manner of looking at her, but she could not refuse aid to one who might need it. She followed him into the desert, uh, out of the city, and into the desert. She was led to an encampment of ragged tents. She soon learned to her sorrow that the tale of the brother was but a lie. These were brigands, and what they did to her I shall not say. She tried to escape them the next day and ran to the mountains to hide. They were swift to follow. They had nearly recaptured her when she called aloud for help. A jinn heard her cry and transformed her into a tree. You could be the one to give her back her soul and free her heart from wood. You will try this, hero, will you not? There are three things you must give her to save her soul. A gift of kindness, a gift of magic, and a gift of love. Kindness, magic, love. A gift of kindness is simple. It is only what you would give someone who has been in the desert far too long. So she needs something that you would give someone who's been in the desert too long. You must then tell her about yourself and remind her what it is to be human. Your words are as important as the gift, for they give meaning to the act. So we can't just be kind, we need to tell her why we are kind. Tell her about ourself. The gift of magic is the gift of sacrifice. The gift must be something you gained through hardship and from eating others. It must also be something from which a plant can gain strength. Okay? I know you can achieve the gift of kindness, but you do not yet have a suitable gift of sacrifice. Perhaps we'll be able to do this another time. Um, what about, ask about gift of love. Fair enough. Um, ask about Shapir. Shapir. The city was built around the magic fountain which flows freely. It is protected by the mountains and the desert and has known only peace and prosperity until now. Um, that's probably enough. Let's say goodbye. 
been a pleasure conversing with you. Perhaps we shall uh, share tea again sometime. That sounds delightful. All right, so that is essentially everything. So let's... Yeah, let's head over to the guild hall. Ah, you are most welcome, Shapir. The Sultan has been seeking heroes since the forces of dark magic overwhelmed Razir. Okay, so we should ask them about dark magic. Ask about Razir. Rumors from Razir are that laws have become more important than men and that it has become a crime to think. If you go to that city now and even fewer return. Ask about dark magic. Magic surrounds <clears throat> all of us in this world and is a part of us. Aziza has more answers than I, so I guess I should ask Aziza about magic. Ask about Simba. Simba. Reminds me of a lion cub. Cute. What if I ask you about? Ask about hero. To be a real hero, you need to become a paladin. That's right. Should ask, ask about paladin. Way of the paladin to seek to know that which truly is. Strives to learn from learn his own inner nature and that of others. Paladin does whatever needs to be done to bring light to the world. Not for glory, not for gain. The paladin becomes a paladin because it is his will. Well, as a thief, that's not really our style. So let's do some training. A lot easier to have combat in this game because we can just use the uh, keys down here. We can dodge, swing, everything, which is nice. And how are we doing? Yeah, not surprising we're not having exceptionally large gains each time we come in. Oh no. I'm not sure if this is going to work since I don't have any stamina. Alright. Let's give it a shot. Will I wager with you? Sure. Um, yes. Give Dinar. Okay. Let's see how this goes. Let's slow things down a little. Step forward, hold, correct by leaning right and left. How do I slow things down? Oh, just, there we go. agility a little bit still. Getting too good for me. Surely I'll be forced to pay you next time. I agree. Next time you're here, you will be paying me. Alright, let's head out. Go back to the inn and rest for an hour. Which will refill all of our stamina. I think. Yes. Okay. Um, right. Shima dances tonight. Go away. Mid afternoon. Let's see if these people are still here. Uh, how much money do I have? Not enough to do it. Oh well. I'm going to have to go out and do some fighting tonight, I think. Okay. be out in these streets in order to use our map. An hour. 
Yes, I am aware that Shima dances. Thank you. Probably watch the dance and then end the video for right now. Make sure we actually used up all of our stamina. Sometimes we don't. Leave me alone. I would like to challenge you, but I don't have any money. Oh. Sit. And we'll watch this just this once. Uh, and then after this, I will be skipping it anytime it comes up because I really don't care. I always think about the time that, uh, the fact that someone took all the time to design and animate this whole thing. I have to question why. <laughs> I wouldn't mind if she could teach us how to do that jump, though. Uh, let's order some food. Ah, uh, yes, food. Eat, drink, stand, and let's go to bed for an hour. And then let's just check our water skins. Mostly full. Really just shouldn't have bought that rope yet, but whatever. Let's ride. And we'll go find some fun enemies. Try not to go too far. You don't want to get caught out in the desert. All I gotta do is make sure I put on silly clowns. Where is it? Silly clouds. On. Good. That just makes little amusing things happen. Some of them while you're in the city streets, some of them while you're out here. This is weird. I don't know why there's just nothing. Okay. This is not going exceptionally well. Also, this is not going to help me. Okay, let's... Run away! Oh. Escape. Wisely demonstrate your inborn self-preservation skills. Nope. Escape again. And, whoa. Ah. Oh, no. Oh, okay, we'll meet back again here.